Hi. So today I wanted to give you a quick overview over enums, how to use them, what they are. To start out with, let's try defining some constants. Now what we can do here is we can say we want to try defining the states a player might be in or the different types of an enemy. So an enemy might be const aggressive equals zero, const passive equals one, maybe some more different states. And then we can say something like var current type equals aggressive. That way we don't have to remember these numbers. They are gonna be unique numbers, so we can tell which is which, but we don't have to remember them. Now, if we do that for player states instead, I think that's a bit easier to imagine. Then we can just say something like const idle equals zero, const running equals one, const jumping equals two, const climbing equals three, and so on. So we can do this, and by doing that, we don't have to remember anymore what these numbers are, but we can just compare it by using these names for it. So by default, let's just go into the idle state and good is. Now, if we were to print this out, print current state on ready. Let's run this. We get the zero down here because our state is idle is zero. Now, an enum is basically a prettier or cleaner way to achieve the same thing. Because currently in code, it's not actually clear that these are all related to each other or that these are all supposed to be part of the same listing. So let's say we have both the uh, states here and different types like before. So we still have const aggressive, which is also equal to zero. Now it's not immediately obvious that we shouldn't be comparing aggressive to idle because you can be both at the same time, but they aren't the same thing. So the way to fix this is first of all, we can just define an enum like this with idle, running, jumping, climbing. So if we do that, for now, nothing really changes. We can still access idle here just fine, but we still can't tell apart if something is part of this enum here or a different one. But instead, if we say this enum is now called states, then this here doesn't work anymore. Idle is no longer visible everywhere, but now we access it via states.idle. And if we see here, it actually recommends us all the possible states here. If we don't wanna remember this, but we just wanna use a state somewhere down in the code and we don't wanna go up to check for it, we just type states. and yeah, let's take this one. And easy, everything works the same. It's printing out two because zero, one, two is jumping. We can also assign a custom number here. If we set this to five, then let's see, it's giving us the five here. But whatever numbers we assign to this, we don't have to remember where they are anymore. So what this also means, we can now have multiple enums and say enum types and just say aggressive, passive, blue, purple, I don't care. Whatever you put here, you can make an enum to easily be able to compare things and check what the current state is. If current state equals states dot jumping, print jumping, elif current state equals states dot idle, print doing nothing. We can check for that just fine. We don't have to remember what any of this is. And if we run it, it says jumping, or if we change this to idle, it says doing nothing. And that's really all to the enum and how to use it. That will be all for today. Bye.